Hello everyone. Well, for today's video, I thought I would show you how I prepare my salads that I take for my lunches to work. And since this is the beginning of the week, I have several different things that I need to prepare and chop up and get ready for the week so that when it comes time to make the salad, I can just throw it all together. So I have several different ingredients. The first one I'm going to work with are these radishes here. And I found the best way to do this is to leave everything in the bag and just reach in and twist off the radishes and pull them out. So everything that needs to be thrown away is nice and kept in the bag. I love radishes, especially on a salad. So I'm going to put these in this container and I'm going to give them a quick rinse in the sink, which I won't be able to show you on the video, but you can hear it in the audio. So I'm gonna go over here to the sink and we're just going to wash these off a little bit just to get the dirt off and any kind of bacteria that may be clinging to them from shipment or something and dead leaves stuff like that So now they're all washed off and I can start to cut them down for my salads. Dry them off a little bit here. It's kind of an unusual shape. to try to keep my salad items as dry as possible because I think it keeps them from going bad as quickly and also makes for a better salad. It's not really dripping wet. So. It's my knife. And I'll put these back in here. Now for these, I'm just going to chop the tops and the bottoms off and put them in there. I'm not a professional cook, so I'm sure my slicing 
technique. Leave something to be desired. My main goal is just not to cut my fingers off. are ready to go and I will slice one of those up for my salad when I'm ready but for now I'm just going to put those off to the side and the second thing I'm going to work with is also in a bag and that is some cilantro and usually what I do with cilantro is I keep it in a bunch like this and I just cut off the bottom stalks, which I won't need. And then I put the rest of it back in the bag. Because you want to keep it kind of dry, so I kind of fluff it up. So that when it's in the refrigerator, it will not get as moldy or just nasty. Puffing it up like that and letting the air get around it seems to help. So I'll set that off to one side. Cilantro leaves stick to everything. Okay, the next thing I have is some parsnips. So I only need one for now. Should last me quite a while. Cut the top and cut the end off of it. And then we're going to peel this and use the rest of it for the salad. So I have to get the peeler here. parsnips because they have a nice kind of nutty flavor. It's not like a carrot even though it looks like a carrot. It can be a rather strong flavor. A little bit like horseradish, just a little bit. But um, not a great deal. And now normally what I do when I make my salad is I will just peel off strips like this. And that's what I'll use in my salad. So I'll go ahead and get a few of these. Okay. Now I have another plastic container here. I'm going to store that in there to keep the air off of it. Because parsnips tend to dry out rather quickly. I found. So now I'm going to cut these strips in half. So it's almost kind of like little pieces of wasabi. So I will use those in my salad. Okay. The next thing is the cucumber. And for this, I cut the end off of it. And I only cut as much as I need for the salad that I'm using. So usually that's four slices. And then what I'll do is I'll put some saran wrap or clean wrap around this end and store it in the refrigerator. And it usually does quite nicely for a week. So here, let's 
my four slices of cucumber. And I usually slice it into chunks like that. Now what I'm using for my salad is this container system. This holds the main lettuce and other ingredients. And then I have two small containers for some of the add-ons. Then there's this tray that fits in here like this. And then the dressing goes in there. So you can see I already have my parsnips put in that container. So I'm going to put the cucumbers in here. And I'll also be adding some other stuff to that. So this is kind of intensive to set up at the beginning, but um, as the week goes on, like everything will be cut and ready to go. So it'll take me maybe 10 minutes to fix the salad instead of like a half hour. Well, let's do the actual salad greens. I have a container here that I just purchased at the store and it's a mixed salads of spinach and other stuff. And I usually put a nice amount in. Probably about like that. Then I take some of my cilantro. Just a few twigs like this and I pull off the leaves so that I don't get those hard stems in there. And I just go ahead and put it in with the lettuce. Like I said, there's something about the way the hairs on the leaves of cilantro are configured that it tends to want to stick everything. Okay. So now we've got salad leaves. There's some black spot I'm going to pull off there. And the cilantro together. And I'm just going to rinse this off as well. It's interesting that most of the food poisoning that people do get actually comes from vegetables and not from meat. So I'm awfully careful when it comes to my vegetables, especially the first time I'm prepping everything, just to make sure that everything's washed off correctly. So there's the salad part. And I'm going to add one more thing to this container. And that is going to be some nice small tomatoes that came from our garden. These have already been washed, so I'm just going to put them right in. It's near the end of the gardening season. This is like the last crop. Of tomatoes. Large tomatoes don't seem to do very well in our garden, but the small ones go like gangbusters. So I'm not sure why. Okay. They're very nice and sweet. I really like those tomatoes. Okay, so that should be everything that goes in there. So I can put that and we can start to cut up some other things. This is a bag of sweet peas.
And I love sweet peas. They're obviously sweet and they add a nice crunch. And I usually cut these into thirds. section right here. Okay. Now, the other thing we have is some green peppers. These actually came from our garden as well. I just put them in this plastic bag. And there's also a hot chili pepper. So I'm going to wash these off just quickly. Just slice these down. Usually leave the top off with all the seeds. And those will go in with my cucumbers. Peppers always add a really nice flavor to a salad. I always like the flavor there. And I'm going to do this one as well, even though it's a little bit of different shape. Cut the top and the bottom off, and then just cut around like this. Push out the center. all the seeds or most of the seeds off and then just chop it up in little pieces here. And then finally we've got the chili pepper. And this one we want to be careful with. It's definitely spicy, but once you mix it in with the salad all together, it adds just a little bit of a kick to it. Okay, so we have some sweet peas, some um, parsnips, couldn't think of the name of it, some peppers and some cucumbers. And the last thing we want to add in this container here is some cheese. cheese on my salad. I think it adds a nice smoothness to the flavor. So I'll put the lid on here and put the lid on this one. And these kind of lock together and go inside of a container which you can put a cold pack on. It keeps it cool throughout the 
the day you have to worry about refrigerating. So I have some French dressing. And this is a nice size container for the amount of dressing. It's not too overpowering. And I forgot that I need to do a radish. I prepped them, but I did not cut one up. I'm going to cut this big one up to get it out of the way. And just do a rough chop on it. Some nice bite size pieces. Eating radishes. I'll just put these in here with the sweet peas. Mm, that's good. Okay. So there is everything packaged up like that. And we put that lid on. And we're ready to go. Put that in the refrigerator. And it will be ready to take to work tomorrow. Now it seems like it's elaborate and a lot of stuff, but I find having a nice variety of ingredients really helps me enjoy the salad and actually want to take it to work with me and eat it, which is healthy. So if it was like only lettuce and cheese and cucumbers, it wouldn't be as exciting. So even though it takes a while to prepare, I find that it is something that I actually look forward to eating and is good for my health. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Any suggestions for things that you like on a salad um, would be greatly uh, appreciated. There's so many different varieties. It's kind of like pizza. No two salads are really alike. And please subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos to make for you guys. Thanks for watching.